Hi students, today we are going to see on topic thermographic testing. Myself Fosadi, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department at Akshay College of Engineering and Technology. Introduction: Thermography is a non-contact, non-destructive testing method used in aerospace, defense, and general engineering industries to detect flaws in a variety of structures. Thermography inspection can be used. Over a large area, can detect a range of defects including voids, delaminations, corrosions, porosity, cracks, propagations, and impact damage. Type one: Every object with a temperature above the absolute zero point will, el will emit. Infrared radiation, but the human eye cannot identify this infrared radiation due to its wavelength. The picture shows the different wavelength in nanometer. Thermal imager can detect this IR. Its central element, the detector, is sensitive to IR radiation. Based on the intensity of the IR radiation, it determines the temperature of the object surface and make it visible for the human eye with the thermal image. This process is referred as thermography. Below shows the home in a thermography picture of the detector. In order to make the IR radiation visible, the detector records it. converts it into a electric signal and gives each signal a certain color which is then shown in the display of the thermal imager in principle thermal imager does translate wavelength from the infrared spectrum into wavelength which are visible to the human eye color these are the images of the few samples which is monitored and we can able to see the different pictures of the colors which is showing the indication of the heat and the defected areas this is a sample image of the ir image type 2 The basic principle of thermographic NDT is that the flow of heat from the surface of a solid is affected by internal flaws such as disbonds, voids, and inclusion. In this picture, we can able to see non-defected samples and defected samples. Due to that, we can able to see the image of the IR camera and heat source. We are getting the displayed in the computer monitor system also. types of thermography pulsed or flash thermography lock in thermography burst vibro thermography lock in vibro thermography pulsed or flashed thermography test in this technique energy source xenon flash tubes are used to pulse heat the specimen surface The duration of the pulse may vary from a few microseconds by using flashes to several seconds by using lamp. The duration and energy source depends on the thermophysical properties of both the specimen and the flaw. Here the specimen is heated from one of the side while the other thermal data is collected either from the same side reflection mode or from the opposite transmission mode in this mode inspecting defects closer to the heat surface as shown in the figure despite the principle of the reflection mode pulsed thermography Pulse thermography is a non-destructive technique used to find defects in aircraft and aerospace component. Pulse thermography allow materials to be inspected very quick for near surface defects and bonding weaknesses. 
in pulse thermography the material to be inspected is heated up to equally using a very short heat pulse defects bonding fault and corrosions can be observed using a thermographic camera on the surface lock in thermography lock in thermography is also called modulated thermography in this technique the specimen surface is periodically illuminated by modulated heating source like halogen lamps to inject thermal wave into the specimen heat is produced and propagated through the material by radiation caused by periodic wave internal defects act as barrier for heat propagation which produces changes in amplitude and phase of the response at the surface the thermal response is recorded at the same time using an infrared camera capable of monitoring the whole surface the image shows the lock in thermography technique sinusoidal wave are used as input and it has the advantage that the frequency and shape of the response are presented only the amplitude and the phase delay of the waves may change Lock-in vibrothermography or also called as amplitude mode vibrothermography is similar to optical lock-in thermography with a difference in extraction source. In this technique, mechanical elastic waves at higher frequency is injected to the specimen. In the figure shows the arrangement of lock-in vibrothermography. This equipment consists of ultrasonic vibration source, IR cameras, control unit, computer with processing software and display unit. Sonic wave propagates in the material and when they find internal defects, they trigger the dispersion of vibration energy into heat mainly by friction between the contacting surface of the defect. Subsequent heat is conducted to the surface. where it can be detected by ir camera the frequency and the shape of response curves are preserved the change in amplitude and the phase delaying is processed and recorded for analysis burst vibrothermography in burst vibrothermography a burst of ultrasonic waves are injected into the test specimen for a short time and it varies from millisecond to a few second in this picture shows Despite the schematic arrangement of the burst vibrothermography in this method of testing the ultrasonic sound wave is produced by a transducer made of a stack of piezo element and con- concentrated in a titanium horn that acts like a hammer hence the part being inspected should be firmly immobilized without damaging the specimen to avoid cantilever effect clapping and sliding of the transducer insertion of the couplant material like a piece of fabric water based gel or aluminium between the transducer and the specimen will be reduced loss a band couplant impels a poor ultrasonic sound but more seriously it creates a unwanted heat in the vicinity of the ultrasound injected point After the mechanical sound wave ultrasonics are injected to the specimen they travel through the material and dissipate their energy mostly at the defects so heat is located released the thermal waves then travel by conduct- conduction to the surface where they can be detected with an ir camera then the data is processed and displayed in the computer defects are identified advantage large areas can be scanned fast thermography is an area investigating technique whereas most of the other non destructive methods are either point or line testing method this results in major saving in time people work and machinery thermography device is risk free as it does not eliminate any radiation it shows a visually picture so temperatures over a large area can be compared it is capable of catching moving 
targeting in real time it is possible to predict the failure by observing the temperature it can be used to measure or observe in areas inaccessible or hazardous for the other methods ir cameras are relatively easy to use large electrical cabin and whole electrical installation can be quickly scanned the exact location of the potential problematic point can be easily determined limitation it is not possible to penetrate in extended depth only a few mm to interpret the result requires a certain experience and knowledge quality cameras often have a high price ranges applications they are used by the police and military for night vision surveillance and navigation aid by firemen and emergency rescue persons for fire assessment and for search and rescue by the medical professionals as a diagnostic tool and prevent preventative maintenance process control and non-destructive testing defects in composites it can be used to find defects in shaft pipes and other metal or plastic parts it can be used to detect objects in dark areas it can capable of catching moving targets in real time it is possible to predict the failure by observing the temperature it can be used to measure or observe in areas inaccessible or hazardous for other methods used in the aerospace defense and general engineering industries to detect flaws in the variety of structures can detect a range of defects including void delaminations corrosion porosity cracks propagations and impact damage typical problem in electrical installation that can be detected with infrared thermography include corrections that are loose poorly installed corroded etc unbalanced load defective equipments undersized conductors overheated motors overloaded circuits potential fire hazards own component thermal abnormalities in batteries these are the thermography content we discussed thanks for listening students thank you